Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. In today's video, we have a little tactical breakdown for you as we're going to dive in to some of the things teams across the league have done to guard Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is one of the most dominant big men in the NBA. He's a phenomenal scorer, playmaker, he's able to handle, he has great skill for his size, and he's also very physical. So, teams do a variety of different things to slow him down. Even though he's kind of one of the most unstoppable players in the NBA, there's certain little things that teams have shown throughout the course of this season so far that have hindered him and have made him less effective. So in this video, we're really gonna dive in to three teams and see what they did in an attempt to slow down one of the most skilled, dominant, and overall great players that play in today's NBA with Joel Embiid. So the first team we're gonna really look at and what they did against Joel is the Brooklyn Nets. The Nets played straight up. They wanted to push out the catch. In this clip, see how Blake Griffin got physical from well outside of the paint. That kept Joel Embiid out. They had activity in the gaps, but they really trusted their big men to play straight up 1v1 against Joel. Along with this straight up 1v1, they sent doubles to the blind side. So look, as Joel's back is facing, right when he turns, he has Blake Griffin come over and force the turnover. And in this clip again, you'll see James Harden come in as he's in attack, but also when his back is facing the defense. This blindside trap is just really hard as an offensive player to even see coming and recognize and to make a smart play. So next, we're gonna take a look at the Chicago Bulls and what they did against Joel Embiid. So the Bulls against Joel, their primary objective was to force jumpers and make him kick it out of paint touches. So first things first, they played straight up with the bigs. And right when Joel touched the paint, they sent doubles from the closest man. This style of defense and tactical usage of the big, being sagging off, protecting the paint, and then having that activity in the gap, really stabbing at the ball like you can see Caruso here in and out of the paint. Along with when he puts it on the floor, touches paint, they send two. This activity makes it really hard for a big man to make a play once he touches the paint, once he gets deep and inside. That's the spot where usually you're comfortable, you're able to shoot a little jump hook, get through the defense, finish a play. But when you send these bodies at a big like this, you force them into tough twos like fadeaway jumpers or turnovers, over active hands, like tough passes, tough plays. This aggressive trapping and blitzing that the Chicago Bulls showed in both of their matchups made Joel turn it over and really forced them into these tough twos that we just mentioned. So overall, I think Chicago did a really good job in their own way. And look at this clip. He's in the paint and he has four bodies around him. That's a really damn tough shot for anyone in the NBA. So the last team we're going to talk about is the Boston Celtics, who did a phenomenal job against Joel Embiid in their recent matchup. So the Celtics with their bigs, they wanted their bigs to play straight up. There was gap activity or doubles from the nearest guy, typically on the top side. On deep catches and attacks, they really sent doubles. They did not want Joel to feel comfortable. And the bigs job primarily, though, was to push out the catch and force jumpers. Similar to what Chicago did, but the sheer amount of size that Boston has, they're able to rotate Horford and his freedom, Robert Williams. Those three guys are big athletic guys that could really fight Joel in the paint. Along with that, Boston with their smalls, they fronted Joel, loaded the backside, and they trapped immediately on catches. But with the bigs primarily, you can see throughout these clips, the big did a really good job at forcing outside catches, forcing him into tough twos over contest. And when he put it on the ground, there was a trap sent immediately as he touched paint or whenever there was an opportunity to really get in there and make him uncomfortable. Embiid struggled all night long and Boston did a really good job at slowing down one of the best in the NBA. So I know that this was a brief overview of what these three teams have done to slow down Joel. But overall, you can see a tendency across the league at how to deal with big men. Force jumpers 
and make them very uncomfortable where they should be comfortable deep in the paint. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about defenses in the NBA, and how to slow down big time talent at the five position. So for more content, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys in the next one.